Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Museum Diaries. I have the Duchess here. She's doing some painting. She got up early this morning. Hi Napoleon. And has been working on painting in abstract. A couple abstracts actually for that matter. How, many, how long have you been at this? This morning probably three hours. I started them a few days ago. It's going to take time for them to develop. But you, you know you're starting to get a sense of what they might what they could be. Right. And here's all the pinks. Hey, boy. Uh, Napoleon! Napoleon, come on. Yeah, we've got to get those planters today. Go look at the area and um, you'll see what I mean. That I think it's a perfect suggestion by Carmen. So the neighbor suggested we get planters. Napoleon! And put the planters right here so that he jumps doesn't jump over the fence. No, get over here. Get off the fence. Because you see when the neighbors have their gate open, he can easily get out. Come on. He's been pretty good though ever since he got a light hit by a car crossing that street. Here. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, do you have a tape measure so we can measure how long the um, planters need to be? Yeah, I'll measure it right now. Okay, you guys, so this is the abstract she's been working on. Pretty cool. Well, they're nothing yet, but they'll get there. So we went ahead and got these planters, and I put this little fence behind them, and... Napoleon hasn't jumped over the fence lately, so that's a good thing. And the piece that Veronica is working on, um, the Roman arches from dust to dust, is a magnificent piece. And she was working on it in the beginning of the video, and um, that's going to be stretched by Michaels for $430. And it's a nice size. That one should sell for a few thousand. And um, she was inspired to create that piece for Dr. Rampton, her dentist, our dentist. And he wants to buy one of her pieces, uh, particularly an abstract. So, um, yeah. Hopefully he'll like it. She's going to see about him maybe taking it home and letting it letting it sit for a while and seeing how he likes it how he enjoys it so um, yeah we'll see how that goes so this is an update this is what's going on with Museum Americana um, we are in contact with Mark Masti with uh, Jean-Marc Galleries. He's got a gallery in Beverly Hills and he's got one in Paris. He's interested in showing Veronica's artwork. Um, we have yet to meet with him, but that's going to be happening sometime soon. And if you guys missed it on Peacock, if you subscribe to Peacock, you can watch the documentary Veronica's in Episode 3 of The Hillside Strangler, The Devil in Disguise. And that's recently out on Peacock. It's got four episodes. And Veronica, like I said, is in episode three. So definitely check that out. And um, Juliet is going to be coming out here in a couple months. It'll be nice to have her out here in L.A. And we're all doing pretty good for now. Okay, you guys. What are you doing, Napoleon? He's eating his little chicken chew hide. He loves to chew. Absolutely loves to chew. You're a good boy, Napoleon. <coughs> Napoleon. Good stretch, good stretch. So he's been staying inside the house. He hasn't been jumping the fence. And he hasn't been getting outside. He's doing really good. He's now 10 months old. He'll be a year old mid-October. And um, 
Lucky plays with him occasionally. We took them to the beach a couple days ago and um, <clears throat> we let him off the leash and he ran and ran and he played with other dogs. He made two friends at the dog beach. Uh, I want to call it the dog beach because people take their dogs there. They keep them on leash and off leash. And Lucky, we kept her off leash and she did pretty good. She ran up to a couple dogs but didn't get that close. I was just hoping she wouldn't aggress and she didn't. But Lucky did pretty good. Are you stretching? Are you just laying down, boy? Huh, oh, boy? That's a good boy, Napoleon. He's such a sweet dog. Such a sweet dog. Very kind, very playful, very strong-willed. Napoleon, what do you hear? So the dogs had a great time at the beach. Definitely, and we're going to do it again sometime soon. And next time we'll take the video camera. I happened to leave the video camera behind on this trip. We went to Ventura and we stayed there the night at the Holiday Inn Express in Suites and uh, we had a really good time there. Let's see here. Going into my room. Going to be working on a self-portrait. This is what Veronica helped me come up with. I didn't do this all on my own. I actually did a portrait of myself and she said that I have um, I can't remember how she said it, body dysmorphia, because my, my self-portrait was kind of funky looking. I'd made myself look much older, so she corrected it and said, this is your profile, start with that, and so I just got to fill it in, um, but okay, there's Lucky, not Lucky, there's the baby, she did really good at the beach really good so okay you guys we'll talk to you soon bye for now